What is going on LEGO Investors? So today we're going to look at a set that I am not really a big fan of, but there is a minifigure in this set that I absolutely love. I think this is one of the best minifigures LEGO has made within the last few years. As a lot of you know, the number one LEGO minifigure on my list is the Basil Batlord, and then this is definitely in the top five. Or I should say this other one is in my top five. So we're going to do a checkup on this minifigure and kind of the set because we have to analyze the set because it's a big factor. It's an expensive set. To get this minifigure, we need to determine at the price we want to buy this set at and whether it's worth it to purchase this large set for this minifigure. In the last video I made in, in regards to this, it was doing very, very well. This minifigure was pulling in big bucks, but now we're starting to see it go down. And that's to be, to be expected, but we need to begin talking about this more and more. I need to hear your ideas. I want to see what the community thinks on this. Because if this minifigure drops to a very low price, then it just not, it's not worth it to purchase this set. It might be more beneficial just to purchase the minifigure separately than to buy the whole set. But maybe it might work for some people. So I'm going to go over the set and minifigure. I'll give my thoughts and opinions. I want to hear your thoughts and opinions on this set and minifigure. I want to know where you would purchase this set. What price point are you comfortable? Or are you just going to purchase this minifigure separately? Or is this minifigure not on your radar? I know a lot of people love it. I love it. But you might not. I want to hear that info. We want to hear it. We appreciate hearing your thoughts and opinions. So comment down below will definitely help the channel, help the community. But let's dive into it. Today we're talking about R2-D2, item number 75379. This is the infamous set that has Darth Malak. I absolutely love Darth Malak. This minifigure is awesome. I think LEGO needs to keep doing these types of characters, the Jedis, the Siths the one-offs that we don't have because it would really help their sales out and we want this we want set we want minifigures and sets that really aren't flooded sadly r2d2 despite loving r2d2 i think r2d2 is a bad investment and i think they came out with this set and included darth malik because they know that r2 is not going to sell that well but this minifigure has sparked a lot of sales for it. So this set is 1,050 pieces and it retails for 100 bucks. It's pretty expensive because people, everyone that I've talked to and heard about online, they're just purchasing this R2 for this minifigure. They're not purchasing it because they want R2. Now there's always going to be one-offs or a group that really love this R2 and I think it's a great size. I know a lot of people are gonna purchase it because they wanna put it next to Chewbacca and C-3PO. I just don't really think the demand's going to be there, and I think the profits, I definitely think there's going to be a profit with this set. I, I just think it's going to be minimal, and people are really going to buy it for the Darth Malak, and I probably will purchase it for the Darth Malak, but then again, I kind of think I might purchase a bunch of these minifigures separately, just because I, you know, the the first ones, I love that kind of investing and collecting. I like having the first out because later they could really become something. There is no doubt in my mind that we are going to get additional Darth Maliks. I wouldn't be surprised if Lego retires R2 and then immediately comes out with another set that has Darth Malik. And this one will win if it definitely has a better design, but if they come out with another one with a an awesome design or better cape style, then then that Darth Malik will win. But for those who don't know who Darth Malik is, this the quick basic summary is Darth Malik was a human male who reigned as a Dark Lord of the Sith during the Jedi Civil War. He's got an awesome backstory. He's an awesome Sith. I am I love Siths compared to Jedi. Yeah, I'm one of those people. So definitely getting Darth Malik is a big win in my book. But the problem is is R2 is really killing me. I, I just don't really want to spend $100 for R2 to get a bunch of these minifigures. So let's take a look at how this minifigure is doing right now. So, or I should say this set, item number 75379, retails for 100 bucks. It's got a market value right now of $81.28. I was really hoping this set would hit Costco. And as you know, Costco is kind of the kiss of death. Once it hit Costco, it could 
it could drop to an insanely low price. I was hoping like $50 and I would buy a bunch of these because I think I could make quite a bit of money if we got it that cheap. Is there still a chance we could get R2 at Costco? Yeah, is it likely? Probably not. We we probably would have saw it by now, but who knows? Maybe at the end of near its retirement, it could hit Costco. But this set comes with two minifigures. One of them are exclusive. So we got R2D2s pulling in $295 and then Darth Malak is $36.17. So this is a drastic drop in price in Darth Malak compared to my previous video. But I just want to say really quick, if you're coming out with an R2 set, and I hope somebody from LEGO watches this video, you better give us an exclusive R2-D2. The fact that this one isn't exclusive is kind of an insult and really dumb whoever decided that decision. Yeah. I said it, you should probably be fired. Both of these should be exclusive. I know I'm being a little rough here, but hey, tough love. That It's just annoying. Like I, I, I really strongly believe in that. If you're gonna have a $100 R2 set like this, which this R2 is pretty phenomenal. I think they did a great job with the design. Give us an exclusive minifigure. So like I said before, a lot of people are purchasing this R2 set because of the C-3PO right here, item number 75398, and Chewbacca, which is item number 75371. I think these are a little too expensive to have where everyone has to purchase the complete set. Who knows, down the line, maybe these could be the ones that just do absolutely insane profits because people want to collect them all, but I don't think we will. I don't think it's going to be like the helmet line. And I think that's what LEGO was really hoping for, that they're going to create a new, more expensive helmet line. But they really failed with Chewbacca, and I honestly think that really put a lot of it put a bad taste in a lot of people's mouth, and it just kind of annihilated their plan, in my opinion. But you should be aware of these. We're going to make a bunch more videos about these two, or, or these three, to determine whether these are going to be great investments. But right now, we're just looking at R2. So do I think the design is great? Yes. Do I think Darth Malak is awesome? Absolutely. So, so far it's looking pretty good. I think $100 is a little expensive. So I'm not a big fan of investing in R2 because we got a lot out there. So let's take a look really quick to see what we're dealing with. So we got the 2012 version, which is item number 10225. This one retail for 180. It's got a value right now of 218 or 219. Then we got the magazine gift value at 548. The R2 and C3PO droid collector set, which is awesome horrible set like the design is absolutely terrible but these are from 2002 so you're looking at a retail value of 40 and it's got a value of $340.97 and then we got the Technic R2 from 2002 retail for 20 value of 60 so R2 really isn't pig pulling in big numbers it's just not a I mean, he's the best droid out there, in my opinion but the the money just isn't really there and disregard this this collector set that's that's a one-off I think we can more expect profits of probably 20% per R2, which isn't that isn't that great. Spending, you know, 100 bucks, selling them for 120, the risk is too much for me. That's if I could sell them for maybe 160, 180, then I'll then I'll spend that 100 bucks all day long. And believe me, I'm more of an investor of collecting a $20 profit. I'm fine with that, but a lot of the sets that I'm comfortable selling at $20, I know that eventually I could get more. I just don't really see that with R2. Maybe this one might do it because of the whole C-3PO and Chewbacca. And if we get more in the future, that will definitely help it. But after looking at that, let's take a look at Darth Malik. So Darth malik has got a value right now of $36.17, a lot less. And I want to know from you, do you think this is going to retire after two years? Or do you think they're going to push this set to four years? If it's two years, that's definitely great for Malik. I think that would help the price. If it's out for three or four years, that's going to just annihilate the price of Malik. So let's take a look at how R2 is doing on eBay right now. So we got 82.80, 69.95, 70 opened, $79.75, 80 bucks, 101, $100, 78, 75, 81. I think a I honestly think they probably should have came out with this set at $80. That would have felt a little more comfortable. I think that's a valid price for it. And I I'm I do give credit, you know, 80 bucks. It's holding in there, and I I just think it's holding in because of Malik. So let's take a look at Malik. So Malik is pulling in 39 bucks. These were the older prices, and there's a few of them in here. So we got $60. That's amazing. If Malik could maintain a $60 price tag by the time R2 retires, then that would be a solid purchase for me. 
I know I could part that set out. And I don't part out sets, believe me. But I would part that one out. But now we're starting to see the price go down quite a bit. So this one's $40. This one's $24.27 with 7 bids. $40, $37, $0.27. 6 bids. 44, 40, 60, $32.51. It looks like the bids are just, and I always say this in all my videos, don't do bids. They dr they always do way less. It's not worth it. This one's $49.95, 45. It, it's kind of hard to gauge because you get those one-offs where they're 60 bucks, but then the rest of them are 40, and then you got these bids that are pulling in 32. I'm, it's hard to get a gauge of where it should be. Like right here, 2979, 40, 36. I think with time we're gonna see this gradually drop down more and more, and I think that probably the price is gonna hit 30. Is there a possibility it could hit 25? Yeah, I definitely think so. So this is where I need your thoughts and opinions. How do you feel about Malik? Where's the price tag that you think it's gonna go? Do you think it's gonna hit 25 or 30, or do you think it's gonna maintain in that 40 zone? And then the question is, what about R2? Do you think R2 is a solid purchase at $100? What's your buy price? For me, I, you know, I wish it would be probably $60 to $70. And I'm really going to keep an eye out this Black Friday. But I just don't know if we're going to hit that price. I just, I just can't see them dropping the price that much for R2. If it hit Costco, then we know there's too much inventory. And we'll definitely get a solid price. But I want to know your comfort zone. Mine's probably the maximum I would pay is probably $70. Personal wise, I'll probably pay $80. But for investing, $70, 60, 60, 60 to $70 would be awesome. I doubt we'll hit it. But I'm making this video because I want to hear your thoughts and opinions. How do you feel about this minifigure? How do you feel about this set? What's going to be your sell price? A lot of people were saying that they could think Malik would be a $150 minifigure. I definitely think that's long gone. He's all over the place. I think as time goes on, we're going to see that gradually drop in the 30s. But nonetheless, $30 for Malik is pretty solid. And I, I love this minifigure. The first out, I'm definitely going to try and buy some individually. I think it would probably be a better purchase than buying R2. But I want to hear your game plan. Are you buying a bunch of R2s because you have faith? Because you're hoping that people are going to collect it? Or are you going to go the route that I'm going to go? Maybe buy Malik individually? I don't know. And believe me, I don't really invest in minifigures and buy them separately, but I'm really di digging Malik. I, I think it was awesome that they made, Lego made him. So comment your thoughts and opinions down below. I definitely want to hear it. We want to hear it. It's definitely appreciated. I hope you have a great day. But as always, please do your own research, have some fun, make some money. Video is not financial advice. Any statements made are my views and is for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Do your own research before making any financial investments.